people, this your boy BK and Brackets, and today I'm going to be wearing Ghost Pro, and I'm going to be wearing Second Chance Pro, along with Steadying Pro, and I'm going to be using it for my silence, while I sit in the corner, and I wait for my underwear to dry outside because of the big skid mark down the middle. <laughs> Sound like a regular commentators, doesn't it? <laughs> It's your boy Big Ham. I'm back bringing you another commentary. I know it's been a long time, but um, I've just been waiting to bring you something real good. Some news and information. Also, the past, present, and the future of KOZW. Now, you be, be wondering, you know, what is it, uh, you know, about the past, what people telling the past of their clans, you know, is all about the present right now, what's going on now. Well, I just feel that, you know, if you're going to be subscribed to our channel, you need to know how we started and um, how things are going, you know, as we speak now. First off, you know, it was no KLZW, okay? I think you already know that, you all smart people. But uh, we first started off in Call of Duty 4. Actually, it was no we, it was just me. I was new to the franchise. Um, I never played any of the previous Call of Duties. Um, I came from PC gaming background. I used to play Halo, some of everything that you can think of on PC. And I just decided, you know, one day I wanted to get me a PlayStation 3 and try out uh, Call of Duty 4. So, popped it in, and oh my god, I used to be horrible. I was just getting shot here and there, and not even mention I started out playing Search and Destroy. That was a huge disaster. So, I finally met up with some friends, you know, they had pity on me because I was going like 1 in 64 in matches, you know, I couldn't get my aim together, and they taught me, you know, the tricks of the trade. So, I decided, you know, I was going to start me a team eventually after a while once I started getting good, and, you know, that's that's what we became, you know, we became not the Chaos Warriors, but we became the Onyx Dragons. Now, I already know what you're thinking. Oh, man, he got a Pokemon team. No, sir. We got that every day. There's the Onyx Dragons. They must be. No, we, we didn't even have Onyx Dragons because in the clan tag, we just had Onyx, okay? That, that's why we got the Pokemon hate. But screw you. Everybody knows Pokemon. We wasn't a flying dragon that looks like rocks rolling around stuck together, okay? <laughs> But um, th that's, a, that's what we started out and eventually made it KLZW. Um, and the first few members that I had, they tried to steal my team members, okay? So, I think you know where this went. You know, we split up. I decided I was going to, you know, get rid of them because they were stealing team members. That's not, you know, a good thing to have on your team as people who, you know, trying to take over what you started and, you know, make it bad in their own way. So they decided to call themselves IKS, you know, Insane Killing Squad. Um, we had a few ups and downs here and there as far as like clan battles. Um, but eventually, you know, um, we got everything settled up. I still can't stand them bastards, but, you know, if you see them on PSN, you know, give them a beat down for Big Hind because I already tore them to shreds so many times. But anyway, that was after we became KLZW, and I set a new standard on my team, you know, is that. I didn't want to give away too much power because power on your team to different members it, it makes them you know they can't really concentrate you know they they don't they don't really play for the objective they play for kills only and that's not what our team is about if you want to join the team or are already on the team that's because I noticed that you have the skills to play on Call of Duty you don't set up and camp all the time you know what I mean you don't sit in corners when it's all the all the flags are captured and you also don't only go for kills especially on domination you know is, is what we mostly play and that's what I look in, um, into when I pick a person to play on the team so that's really important to me you know and I like to see people who play the objective and they you know they work as a team to get the game won that's what it's about is winning the game working together as a team and hold on let's look at this right quick both of these flags go in the second chance, and they got on ghosts. That's why I brought it up at the beginning. Look at Save me, save me! And look at him, he got killed too. <laughs> Die! <laughs> That's what your faggots get for wearing ghosts and second chance. I don't know where you wear both of those. Stupid. I ain't going to even say it. Remember, I said I was not. I was going to try to stop saying faggots so much in my last commentary. We just call them my uh, boy lovers. Underpants. Um underpants searchers that's what we call them 
Bush baby underpants searches. I think that's more family friendly, don't you think? <laughs> anyway, back to the subject on point. That's what my team is about, and um, also another question that arises is: Is, is are we a um, sniper only team? No, we are not a sniper only team. Um, I have no disrespect towards people who have sniper only teams. I could totally understand your situation if that's what you like, but my team is a mixed variety of, um, of you know. Some machine gunners, if you want to call them that, people use assault rifles, and people who snipe only. You know, that's that's what I believe is a great balance for a team, and um, gives you a good variety in order to you know succeed at the game. And I'm not saying that you know sniper only teams can't win games, you know, but you know that's that's just not my thing. That's not what I want my team to be. Um, I know it's a lot of sniper teams out there, so you know I just try to have something different. You know, bring something that's original well not really original because it's more teams out there who are not sniper only but you know just try to be different from the from the cool crowd you know be, be um you know just the out outlandish team and today i'm proud to say that we're 14 strong along with a few other additional members who are not part of the original team you know they're backup members and just in case you know uh, so, you know, just somebody has to go, or you know, can no longer play on the team because of specific reason, specific reasons. Oh, I can't talk. Jay. Like uh, college or something like that. You know, have to go back to um, a job for a certain extended uh, point of time. So you know, it's different things. We all have lives on the team. You know, I, I'm not trying to be one of those people. You know, who's saying that if you play the game, you have a knife. No, ah, no knife. Lord, I've been looking at too many on these blade videos, but. Uh, I mean, no life, you know, I'm, I'm not one of those people who like to say that, but, you know, the thing is, everybody has a life, you know, whatever you do, and, you know, especially our team, we just have so many things that we do, working people, and, you know, I can totally understand if no one can play all the time, so I, I really have no restrictions against that, and I believe that's why we have, you know, a good solid team, you know, that we have today, and I'm very proud to say that the members I have now are very loyal, and, you know, just very good members, you know. So I think that's really, you know, the the mixture or the seasoning to make your team the perfect taste. Look at me talking about food now. I know you're getting hungry, ain't you? You want to go in the kitchen and make your big old Salisbury steak with some mashed potatoes, some macaroni and cheese. Look at this connection interrupt. Look at this. What the heck? How did the enemy turn into a teammate? Did you see that? Oh my lord! We got some abracadabra crap going on up in here. But anyway, back to the subject. I'm, I'm very proud, you know, to say that my team doesn't do all the cheap stuff because I try to be on them and make sure that, that's what she said, by the way, I know this way to say it, on them and make sure that they do everything correctly, you know, as far as, like, playing the game. And I know you'd be thinking, oh, no, there's no correct way to play a game. Well, the one rule that I have on the team is, if you want to play with us and, you know, play domination, at least go for objectives, okay? Well, at least do that, you know, and, and that's what every member on the team does that now, so, you know, I'm trying, I, well, not trying, but I've already gotten rid of the people who, you know, just didn't mix a workout with the team, and now we have a solid mixture that is, you know, just perfect. Now for some updates, okay, since we're done babbling about the team and how great we are. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know I'm crazy. I get it from everybody, but you are going to learn that in these next few commentaries that I bring you throughout the year. <laughs> but anyway, um, as far as the montage, I know you've been waiting to hear information about that. Have we found the editor? Um, I believe we have found the editor that's going to work out perfect for us, and we'll be bringing you more news throughout it. We have a ton of clips, uh, 40... 42 I believe or 50 so we need just eight more clips and we're gonna hand them off to them and bring you that montage Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this commentary as far as like the team and where we are now and I hope you all have a good day. Peace Hello, I hear me.